Okay, I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys my new build system. Uh, this is a uh, piece restored, which I made an Unreal Engine. It's live right now, so if you go to Steam, download it for free, piece restored. Uh, you'll be able to see this out now. It's brand new, so you know how no th new things go. It's a little wonky here and there, but it's uh, as you can see, I'm inside my house. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how the system works and um, yeah, go from there. So basically to activate the build system, you press B, B boy, and it will pop up. Now things highlighted are things you can uh, destroy. And what it'll do is it, it populates your power cells and you get power cells from killing bots. So what we're going to do is we're going to dismantle this house so I get my power cells back and then I'm going to rebuild it, kind of show you how it works. So what you do is if it's highlighted green, you press E and it would put it in your inventory. Now you can see there's like a shadowy thing. Well that, if you were to like left click, it would build it right there. Now you can destroy it by pressing E and it goes back and then it will repopulate your power cells. So I'm trying to do this live. So anybody at any moment could just kill me and I'll have to respond. But I'm pressing E right now and it's taken all my stuff that I built and it's putting it back in my inventory. Now it doesn't actually store the buildings, it stores the power cells, okay? so. Let me show you. So when you press B, use the arrow keys as it shows on here to go through your different buildings. So we're going to start with uh, our building parts anyway. So you're going to start with like your foundation and you just simply put it where you want it. Left click and it will go. Um, and it, it can be a little weird to line up at first. And thank you, uh, Renovando, for blowing me up. Uh, but as soon as I respond... I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys. <laughs> this is going to take a minute. There's a guy that blew me up. Uh, it feels nice to get a revenge kill. Anyway, I'm going to go back to building my house now. Okay, so I finally made it back to where I was after I was killed. The great part is I, didn't, I don't drop my power cells. You maintain those. Um, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to put... So the only way you lose them is if somebody destroys your property, your stuff that you've built. Um, if they do that, then you do, you know, you can't recoup your power cells. And obviously when you spend them, so you spend them for a wall, um, then you're not going to get them back. So, oh, so if you misplace something, no problem, just destroy it and then you can put it back. Now you want to place uh, the same way you were facing. So if I put the stone facing the stone, you want to make sure you put the wall up in the same manner because if I were to put the wall up from inside of the house as opposed to outside it wouldn't align just right and that's a little I don't know if it's a bug but it's a little thing I'm trying to work on to get it just a little bit better so you can see it quickly uh, you can quickly build your your house and I'm gonna put my oh darn it okay so I keep getting blown up by people so I'm going to I, I actually have the bots off these are real people that are uh, uh, blowing me up um, and there's uh, the last guy that blew me up. So please don't blow me up anymore. Anyway, you come over here, and let's let's uh, let me show you how to build a foundation or some stairs. I'll put some stairs in here, and just kind of line them up. Boom, place them in. I'll go put some stairs over here. Uh, and that might be a little high so i press e there and then i'm going to go back to this wall highlight it destroy it i got my power cells back and i'll put in i want a back door that way i have an escape route okay everything appears to be lining up and then we'll put a roof on there roof can be a little bit difficult um I'm eventually i'm going to line these things up so that way it will they'll go in line a little bit better but kind of gotta do it like that uh, but there you go. And doors are interesting because with doors, only you can open them. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Who's shooting at me? Can you tell? Hang on. I might have a little conflict here. What was that? Was that? Awesome. I have somebody help me out here so that way I can build in peace. All right. So I got my door. Put it in there. Boom. Now be careful if you're in build mode and you place a door and then you go to open the door while you're in build mode, obviously you'll destroy it and it'll go back into your inventory. So we just really quickly built a little house. Only I can open the door. Eventually I'll make it when we have teams, your teammate will be able to open the door. 
Um, oh yeah, floors. You kind of if so if you have a house real small like this, you know, get out of build mode so you can open the door. Um, you kind of have to like be outside a little bit, and then you can put your floor in, and then uh, here, come on out. There you go. Um, there it is. Okay, so you see, there are some things that, as time goes on, will smoothen out. Now, these things can sustain a specific amount of damage, and then and then they'll blow up. So I'm going to ask my assistant here to go ahead and start uh, chucking some uh, rocket. You have any rocket launcher ammo? Yeah. Okay. Start. Uh, okay. Yeah. Start firing those grenades, and hopefully we'll get a good shot of this. Pick, make sure which wall are you picking the one with pick the one with windows oh so as you can see that was perfect he blew it up and the chunks showed up and uh blew up on my wall okay so cease fire real quick because my camera's just showing a black screen uh don't fire anymore um so so basically the the chunks are there and i can't obviously you know i'm not gonna get my power cells back for that uh but I could just build more walls and stuff like that. And these doors are still here. So you can just E take them away if you want. And then you can rebuild from there. So the destruction system, it's got, it's, it's interesting. It was the first time I was working with destructible meshes, uh, but uh, it's, it's new, but it's really cool. As you can see, they, they break apart and I disabled collision right away. Cause it would be, it would be, it would be weird to, um, you know, have to deal with them. So how the, how the save portion of the build system works is every half hour the server will save everything um so when you if the server shuts down and launches back up uh your buildings will still be there so it's persistent um if you don't log in after 48 hours everything that you've built will go away so it's 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 to keep it less cluttered i had to do that somehow we'll see how it works okay so you can also use the build system strategically see if you have a guy right here an attacker you could kind of fence him in um oh shoot i'm out of power cells let me get that wall back uh but let's say he was shooting at you you could uh pop that in there like that and then you're 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 able to defend Okay, so I'm going to show you some other uh, kind of neat things that you can do with, you know, obviously you can build cool houses and stuff, but you can also use these strategically. Like, so let's say you had an, an area you wanted to ascend to, you could quickly build, you know, stairs um, or whatever, and it and it kind of follows the Minecraft sort of gravity. So, uh, oh, geez, I'm getting shot at. Hang on. Okay, so like I said, it has a Minecraft sort of gravity. So if you were to come over here and say, blow up one of these things... Um, they're still going to be supported. So as you can see, the chunks are still there. Um, but the obviously when it blows up, it collapses and falls into the ground. Um, we may change this down the road. Uh, I keep getting blown up by everybody in the whole world. Uh, go figure that one time I go do a video, there's like a million people playing. So but that's good. That's what we want. Now, with this build, build system, obviously uh, there's some things you could do that you're not really supposed to do, but it could be fun. You could actually build a stairway just like that uh, that huge one uh, I was doing, or you could make a really, really big one and you could, you'd climb outside the map. You could do whatever. Now beware. I don't, I don't know what would happen. If, you know, when you get outside the map, I know I haven't developed any of it. It's just stuff for the, for the world to expand into. So, you know, have fun until I fix it. I just didn't have the time to do it. I wanted to roll this guy's, this stuff out uh, as soon as possible. So you could test it. Um, help me find bugs and I guarantee you just like everything there are, there will be bugs this has not been tested whatsoever other than just me and my house you know uh, with a couple of test computers I have no idea how it's going to react um, how well performance is going to go I try to optimize it to the best of my ability but uh, you know a lot of different things can can affect you know when you get a bunch of players on like this um, you know that can that can cause some some issues uh, but yeah so have fun blow each other up uh blow each other's houses up now th it adds a whole another element a defensive element because if i can surround myself with walls uh then i got a better chance of surviving um and and surprising my enemy and that's more of, of say like how a Fortnite thing would work and this is this is actually uh, i'm going to put a link in the description of how Fortnite's uh, build system I, there's a tutorial 
um, th- where they where they try to teach you how to build Fortnite's build system. And I took probably two or three functions that were really good from that tutorial, and I embedded them in my own system. And it's it's really interesting how how the uh, the build system works. And I'm gonna I recommend you go through it. it, it it's a li- it's it's very detailed. Uh, so I'm gonna do more of a dumbed down version that. I guess dumb down is the wrong word, but a, a simplified version that's easier for you to put into your own game. Uh, sometimes I've noticed with tutorials, they get so in depth and so detailed that it's like, okay, how do I, how do I use this for me? You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the main functions that can get you started do, doing the, the build stuff. And this will be down the road. These are just tutorial ideas. But um, once again, to save your resources, you can collect back your walls or your stairs or whatever, and then you're back into the fight. And obviously, how to get power cells. Let me show you what they look like if I don't get killed by this. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, anyway, you kill the AI, they're going to drop power cells. I'll try to get you an example of that here in just a second. So how you get bots is, after you blow a guy up like that, uh, you come over and they look like little batteries. I got those from somebody else's tutorial. Uh, actually, oh, jeez. Anyway, <laughs> when when uh, folks don't come down to blow you up uh, while you're getting uh, your stuff. See, I'm distracted. I'm trying to play a game and do a uh, little infomercial here, but it's not really working too well. Uh, but basically, you you they drop... AI drops power cells. People don't drop power cells. I did that to kind of save the frustration of, you know, getting killed and then losing all your progress, losing all your your power cells and that sort of thing. Um, I'm, I may make it so you have to store them, like, in the house, and that would be kind of the purpose of building the house, and that might be what I do down the road. Like, so you, you build a house, and you can store a bunch of maybe guns in there so you're not, every time you die, having to go run around and collect all your weapons and that sort of thing and when we add the survival element in there that will also make things you know uh, better because i'm mean, gonna I have like weather and stuff and you know you'll need to do s- specific things to just survive the environments and then i can slowly kind of uh, maybe bring down the level of the ai a little bit so you're not so focused on just running and gunning running and gunning you might be more focused on, uh, you know, collecting and stuff like that. Or we'll do two different game modes. Uh, haven't really decided exactly how we'll how we'll do that.